Merit Beauty actually sent me some new products. This I've been using forever, but I'll show you guys the bronzer stick that they sent me. So this is the new bronzing glow. And I just put a little bit in the bronzing areas and on my nose because it's not a contour. It just adds a little extra color to your face. This is the best mascara by far. Also, today is Tuesday, and it is currently 7.35, so I have like 10 minutes before I need to leave, um, but it is sunny see through today. Well, I think the holiday is actually tomorrow, so we're supposed to wear like polka dots and flowers in our hair, but I don't have a flower, so I have the polka dots, but also it's like cold outside again, which is so annoying. It is 7.44. I'm going to run to go catch the bus. Well, not run. It picks me up right outside my house, which is beautiful. And then we'll get to school. They had pineapple in the staff room this morning. So excited. I'm just getting everything set up in my classroom right now. Uh, getting my slides up. Today is a Tuesday, which is, I feel like I vlog on Thursdays. But decided to switch it up and it's been like so 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 long since I have vlogged anything we're gonna go ahead and look for Tuesday and get everything all set up and I will talk to you guys during special area because they have it this morning so I'm gonna eat breakfast made myself some yogurt and strawberries and I'll talk to you guys later it is special area time I now have an addition of a flower for my outfit for today I thought I would give you guys a little update as to how the day is going I've had like a really good past couple of months with my group of kids like they've been listening very well we haven't had very many meltdowns and stuff like that and then yesterday was such a Monday where it was just like oh my gosh like the kids energy was just on another level and so today I still feel like we're recovering from that and then um, I have a student who like you know these kids are just so sensitive so like if parents are out of town like it's just hard for them and so we're kind of going through that and since today's a special day and like they're dressed up and they have fun activities in the afternoon like they're just very excited for all of those things tomorrow i actually don't have work so there are a lot of holidays that teachers get off for in spain i feel like um, like a lot of long weekends and all of that stuff so tomorrow we actually don't have work which will be very nice but I'm also that means I'm like losing some planning time so I'm trying to like get everything done before you know the end of the week right now I was just like getting my slides set up for tomorrow I'm like so behind not tomorrow but for Thursday and I also printed some extra things that I need to go upstairs and grab and then I'm just like with my big planner planning everything for the week um, but right now I'm going to take a little break from that and we're changing our door decoration. Anyways, we're changing our door decoration so I'm going to work on that now and yeah, that's, that's pretty much what's going on. I'll show you guys it because it's going to be really cute after. It is the end of the day. The lights in my classroom are off, which is why the lighting is a little bit strange. But the end of the day went pretty well, I would say. I just... <laughs> You know, I'm tired at this point, but I'm just gonna close up the blinds, close up the classroom. We're gonna get going. At the end of the day, we did have churros and chocolate, which was fun. I'll insert like a picture here of my churros and chocolate. We gave it to all the kids, like they loved it. They had a wonderful time. And then they came back inside. So today was like very busy because usually I have more planning time, but because we did the churros and chocolate thing at the end of the day, it just like took up a lot of time that I could have been planning. After that, the kids came to the classroom. I give them like quiet choice time at the end of the day because we have an extended an extended dismissal time. So parents can come between like 4.15 and 4.40. So, you know, that leaves a lot of time for like kids to go a little crazy. So today their choices were playing with Blasty or like drawing a picture and I had put an example picture up on the board. So that's like, an example of some of like the quiet choice activities I give um, and then I like have my little noise levels 
at zero no talking at the end of the day are they actually not talking no i mean they're like i try to make sure that they're whispering and that their voices are down but it's just usually a struggle in kindergarten at the end of the day because also i feel like here hello i hate when people catch me it's happened twice today um but anyways, this is what my classroom is looking like at the end of the day. I've been trying to be really good about making my kids, like, clean up after themselves. You would be surprised how much, like, responsibility kindergartners can have if you, like, teach them how to clean up and, like, give them enough time and, like, don't move on until the next activity or, like, don't let them leave until their table in their area is clean. And it'll, like, save you so much time as well and just, like, helps to make the space look nice and clean. Currently, it is 4.46. My bus to pick me up is going to get here at 4.50. It's 4.47 now, so I'm probably going to head upstairs and get going. Um, and I'll talk to you guys when I get home because... We have an event tonight to go to a social outing that also has to do with school, which we'll get ready for that when I get home. But that's it for the school day. Bye for the classroom for today and for tomorrow because I don't have work tomorrow. Yay. All right, I have just gotten home from work and it is 5.25. I'm actually not that hungry, I think, because I had the churros and chocolate. So, I'm going to have my vitamins, sit down, scroll on my phone a little bit, and just decompress from the long day at work. Actually, on the bus ride home, we were talking about just, like, behavior, because I work with a lot of, you know, American teachers who have worked in the U.S., and, like, just comparing how things work at this private school to things in the US and talking about how we need a more unified system. So we had some productive conversations on the bus ride home, but now I'm just like ready to not think about work at all. But also this evening we have a work event where we're going to like a bar at like 8 p.m. This is like so Spanish. I feel like this would not happen in the US. But um, yeah, we're going to a bar. They're giving us like food and drinks and we're all having like a social with like the whole school. So it's like a high school elementary and middle school so with everybody we're gonna have some drinks so i'm sure conversation will end up leading to teaching so right now i'm like take it out of my brain i don't want to think about it i usually listen to music on like my walk slash metro home to just like disconnect and like put myself in the do not think about teaching mode because it's such a stressful job that like you end up thinking about the kids a lot like subconsciously but anyways let's take some vitamins so that i don't get sick Good morning guys. It is the next day. I just wanted to finish and like close out this day in my life as a teacher in Madrid. Um, but last night was a night. The event started at 8 p.m. which I think I had already told you guys but it ended up being at basically a club which I'll insert like a picture here. I don't know if I have a video. I think I have a video. I'll insert it here and I'm just like this is just Spain. This is just Madrid. And the event was like 8 until 11 p.m. And then the club like opened up to the general public. And we all stayed there until I got home at like 2 in the morning. Thank goodness we don't have work today. You know, it was like open bar. They gave us like coupons once the club opened to get copas and like drinks. So we were all having a good time to say the least. It is already like 2.30. I'm actually gonna leave my house soon to go to my friend's house. We're doing nothing today, we're just chilling, we're hanging out, but I thought I would close out this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the day in my life. I feel like I didn't vlog that much at school because school was kind of crazy, um, but I hope you guys did enjoy and make sure to check out all my other day in the lives as a teacher in Madrid. I also did a weekend in the life, which I will link, um, that just kind of shows like what I get up to here in Madrid and like the lifestyle a little bit. Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next vlog also if you guys have like questions i'm thinking of doing like almost like a q a vlog because i've gotten so many questions on like my tiktok on instagram like people dming me asking me like how i came to madrid how i did this whole thing so if you want to like know more about my experience ask some questions below and i will probably put up a video about like how teaching in madrid has been but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.